My next guest is keeping up with the developing situation in Iran through friends and some of whom are participating in those protests and really through family as well. Melody Moisey is an Iranian American and the author of War on Error, Real Stories of American Muslims. Thank you so much. You're in touch with friends, you're in touch with family there. Uh, what is the sense of what you're getting of what's happening in Iran? I'm getting the sense that now that they've started killing people, the best siege is in the streets, they're invading people's houses. It's gotten serious. It's gotten to the point where it doesn't matter, you know, politics to an extent don't matter. What matters is people. We're a very hospitable people and it's actually gotten to the point that you have Basij entering homes, you have people in protesters who are in a position that they're, they've now created almost an Iranian underground railroad. And, that, and, this is, where uh, and this is something very interesting that you talked to me about. Um, you said that you had family members who supported Ahmadinejad and he had lots initially. of support there initially, but since this has happened, what has happened to that support? It's, it's about the people. You can't kill people. You can't kill your own people and expect them to still love you. You can't do this, especially Iranian people. Like I was saying, we're very hospitable people. We've created a situation where we have safe havens that the Basij, after people go there, the Basij is putting red X's on these houses mm -hmm. to show that this is a safe haven. So protesters actually go into houses, they go into apartments mm -hmm. and say, please take me in, the Basij is following me. Mm -hmm. but, and but my life is in danger. But that support you said is, is, has changed since a lot of this is going on. We're all in the opposition at this point because okay. we are opposed to murder and we're not going to let them do this to our people, you know? And even the besieged, you said some of them are changing right. their support. Yeah, I mean, there's actually stories of in Shiraz, besieged saying, you know, I have a wife, I have children, I don't want to beat an old woman. Please leave. And you have old women in full chador saying, no, I'm not leaving. I'm going to fight for the freedom and independence of my own country. And they're getting beaten. You're beating old women. You can't beat our grandmothers and accept, expect us to support you. Forget it. Forget the supreme leader. We don't care anymore. The people do not care. They care about people. They don't care about their... They care about freedom. They care about people. You know, they, the government, the political system, you, you support freedom no matter what party you're in here. If you're a Democrat, you're a Republican, you f support freedom. It's the same thing there. They want to be free. You're getting emotional because you have family members there and friends and you have spoken to them very yes. recently as of a couple of hours ago. Yes. And their fear as, as night falls there? There's a lot of fear. And the one thing that and makes me... And you're concerned for them. I am highly concerned for them. The one thing that makes me very hopeful though is that one of the chants is Natarsid, Natarsid. Do not be afraid is one word in Farsi. And that word has become so powerful. Do not be afraid. When this poor girl, Neda, who has become a martyr, when she was killed, they were saying, do not be afraid. How do you do that? How do you say to a woman who's dying, do not be afraid? Because she's a martyr. She's going straight to heaven. God is on her side. We are on her side. You have created martyrs in a Shia country where martyrs are so important. Hossein, Ali, they're so important to us. When I stand up, when I do anything that requires any sort of physical exertion, Iranians say, Ya Ali, give me the power of Ali, give me the power of the martyrs. And now we're saying, Ya Neda, give us her power, give us that strength. And now that you've created these martyrs, forget it. The people will win. Melody Moisey, uh, thank you. Thank you. And the best to your family. Thank and you everyone so much. There. We appreciate your strength in coming on. We know that uh, this is a tough issue. I appreciate your reporting. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming on.